Well, in case you're ever in the shop and someone else is using the digital calipers, or this is all you've got, most likely you won't just stumble across a pair of Michitoyas, but if you have dial calipers, which are very easy to differentiate from digital calipers because of the dial, it is not an electrical device. There are no batteries in this unit, which is nice because you never have to replace them. However, it doesn't just immediately spit out all the numbers, or at least not quite. The way that it works is the first thing you want to see the graduated scale is almost like a ruler down this uh, sliding bar of the calipers. And these are in increments, at least on this pair, of 100 thousandths. So if you start at the beginning, you'll find the zero mark and then there's a little one. Between the line at the zero and the line after the one, is a distance of 100 thousandths of an inch. And you keep going, 200 thousandths, 300 thousandths, down here is 900 thousandths, and then 1,000 thousandths of an inch is of course one inch. So that's your one inch mark, and it continues like that, it's two inches, three inches, and so on. Now, you can see this dial is moving wildly as I'm moving it, or as I'm sliding it around. And, um, this dial will give you the second and third digit of your reading. And uh, the slide, of course, will give you the first digit, which is the number of inches, zero or one, uh, or two, and the second digit, which are the smaller numbers in the hundred thousandth, or the, it's really the tenth place. So, for example, if I want to move the calipers to say 250 thousandths or 0 0.25, we start at the zero, then we advance to the two, and then to get to 250 thousandths, um, we move outward until the dial reaches 50. So this is now a quarter of an inch for, uh, for as an example, we're going to measure this quarter 20 screw and see how it really compares with its called out size, which is quarter inch. So I'll just slide that in there and give it a little bit of pressure until it touches. And you can see that it is actually slightly less than a quarter of an inch, about five thousandths in fact. Depending on your calipers, the precision may vary. This one says it has precision of 0 0.001 or one thousandth of an inch. Cheaper calipers might be two thousandths or five thousandths uh, of an inch. Now, whenever you are done with your calipers, make sure that you put them back in your case. Uh, only because if you're in a machine shop and there's chips flying through the air, you don't want any little particles getting inside that tiny little gear rack uh, because if the gear rack gets worn or damaged by the pinion rolling over chips and stuff, uh, then it's going to, um, there's damaged calipers, you might uh, get a little bit of backlash or something. Or, who knows what, it just wouldn't be good. So you want to um, try to, as much as you can, I guess, keep it out of the way of uh, lots of um, small particles. So when I'm done with it, I'll just put it in the case.